But anyway, yes, uh, we're out there doing uh, renovations on the bank. I got some uh, got some money, which is good news, from the central bank. You'll never guess who it's from. Yes, Slit Walker. The central bank of uh, decided that he has to uh, fund and pay for the damages which he's caused. And not only that, they've changed the locks at the Bank of Valentine. Would you believe it? Well, that's a turn up for the books. I mean, it was about time, right? I mean, despicable people up there. But anyway, we uh, we got a list of things to get. We had to get, uh, I mean, it's the first time I ever got wood, which was uh, an experience. Uh, also, I had to get some logs, some rock, 160 iron and some cloth. Never made cloth before, but now I know how to make it. So we're out there now with our, with our hammer and with saws. I'm peeling paint off. Do you know what I'm doing? all the old paint. This place is like... I'd like to say we're doing a really good job, but uh, I don't think there's a craftsman amongst any of us. But uh, never mind. Oh, this is really hard trying to do this monologue with Willie sat here. He will do absolutely anything to get in the monologue. And, uh, yeah, can I say something? Oh, please, Willie, yes. I want to just say to you, your monologue, that I, I was good. I killed someone. Good, Willie. We'll, we'll, we'll put that in the monologue, okay? And, uh... And, I'm uh, a blacksmith, if that helps. Shut well, up. I work as a blacksmith. Shut up, Bam. You're a bit part, bit part actor. Get out of here. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, right. Uh, end scene. Carver to Rupee. Sat in the house looking miserable. Well, not miserable. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I mean, when you have to recite a story over and over and over again oh boy does it make you ill but we thought this will be the last time and what better person to recite the story to our lawyer hopefully he can make Ed Nortel of it and get a conviction at last yeah this is uh, definitely getting complicated and definitely it seems like uh, like law enforcement is just doing whatever His they can to just for kidnapping Mr. Whittle should be enough evidence that he uh, that should you know convince people that he's been behind all these things. Yes, but if he was innocent, why would he kidnap Mr. Whittle as soon as he got out of prison? That's a hard if he was innocent, then why would he lead law enforcement away from roads? The problem at the time right. that a war wagon appears there, it, it all does not make sense at all. Just when you think you've told the old story again, but if I want them for the one thousandth again, for the thousandth time, I'm having trouble saying that. I do apologize. I'm feeling ill. And now I had to recite it all again from the very beginning to another marshal. And then they found the telegrams as me posing as Melvin. I then conf confessed to say yes it was me this is what happened told them the story i've just told you and then they then arrested me and soul for attempted manslaughter they also arrested slip walker on uh, other crimes i do believe as well and had him in a cell lock next to us in handcuffs me and soul we went to sissica where we then found out Mr. Slipwalker was released. And when I come out of Sisaka, Mr. Walker was waiting for me and kidnapped me. Which I do believe again and on the deafness which is the law. And hopefully, the bank is now open and his business 
As usual. Oh boy. <laughs>